Hello everyone, this is Sofri, you are welcome to this presentation. This is the model we have uh, carried out the uh, modeling successfully in the previous lesson. If you are not in the lesson, you can be check it for better understanding. We are going to be running analysis, but before then we will be adding loads. And then run analysis and design of this model element. Alright, so if you don't have this software installed on your system, at the left corner, upper side of this window, towards the end of this lesson, you will see the link. Follow that link and follow that video towards the end. It will be explained to you how you can actually download and install this software successfully. And so you can follow the lesson properly. Alright, so let's get started. At first, you want to be adding a a roofing sheet and for us to do that you go to the model tab at the that vendor model tab cost to the way to wall and loading object panel and then you see roofing panel click right there click the first point the second point click the third point the fourth point and then go back to pick the first point again then inside the, roof, the roofing uh, sheet that way and you do the same thing this way first point Second point, third point, fourth, and the last point. So inside that, just like this. So I will done this successfully. We just have to escape on the keyboard, just like that. And then we want to proceed by pressing load to the structure. We'll go straight away to load tab, and then click on the load cases. And you have all of this load just like this. Now we don't need the service load. Select that, and then you delete that load. For the impost load, you just have to rename it as roof impost load, okay? Just like this. Just like the roof impost load. For the type, you just need to select the roof impost load, this one, okay? And we'll be considering the dead load, the roof impost load, and as well as the self weight only. For the slab, self weight, we don't have slab in this structure, so we may not necessarily make use of it subsequently. We'll go straight away after selecting all our required loads. We go to the way to the combination click right there in this combination click on the add there to add a combination one then we click on the combination one you have these dialogues and so we select the dead load and bring it to this other side also bring that one then for this uh slab save wet we take it back we don't need that okay we have all of this with this strength and the factors okay of safety just like this click on okay after having done that, you come to the load list, this one. Select right there in the drop down menu, select the dead load, and then you click on the area under panel load, select right there, and you can see in the property we have a default load of 5 kN. We want to reduce that to 0 0.5 for the dead load, then place it there. Click on the side, that side of the roof, come to this side, and also click to place that load just like this. Okay, having done that successfully, we go straight away to the load list again. Click in the drop down menu, select roof impose load this time around and change this to 0 0.75. Alright, this is the, which is the load we are going to be considering for the roof impose loads. Click on the roof to place that and also at this side, the same thing, just like that. So, having that done, uh, having that done successfully, you can now uh, escape it on the keyboard, alright, just like this. So you have loaded the structure successfully. What you need to do is to save the structure. So you go straight away to this permission and click on save to save the structure. All right. So you give it a name as a simple design. Simple D of C. Of C. Just like that. Click on save to save that project. Project has been saved successfully. We want to proceed. To validate this project, come to the show process, click right there. You see this uh, show process dialog, you leave it there, click on the validate and give the project some uh, second to carry out validations, which I think is successful. After which, uh, you close the process, right? Click here and select none, and then we want to be carrying out analysis and design. But for us to do that, Successfully, I would like us to look at this foundation. This is a pin support. You're supposed to have a fixed support, okay? And so we want to be changing that. So you select the first one, hold the control key. You'll be able to select 
the rest of it just one by one the way i'm doing okay and so when you have all selected just like this cause to the way to the property dialog you can see a uh, moment in the x y and z are free okay so you just change it to fix you don't need to free it all right you fix that successfully you can see the the fixer uh, the fixed uh, moment has been uh, applied successfully after which you go straight away to the uh, design tab click right there the design tab you are going to be considering static design so this one click right there to start the model design so you can see running analysis and design in progress all right so analysis and design has been carried out successfully on the structure and you can see the key there the key says that uh, actually grid shows pass you can see 142 element pass just as you can see there all right all of this element has passed the design but the roof brazen but you can see the diameter of the rods differs but we may change that that is not an issue at first, what I want us to work on is on this uh, steel truss. You can see the section this will be too heavy. This one will be too heavy. It's a very big section. So you can design it individually. And for us to do that successfully, we will go straight away to the review. Activate the review tab and then select this uh, auto check design. Okay, just select like that. All right. So once you select that, you have the structure in this gray color. You can see so you need to turn on the trusses like selecting it this is the color once once any element is turned on it will show this color so you select the first one to turn it on you can see the color all right so hold the control key and select the rest of the trusses to turn it on so that you can subject them to analysis again and once you subject them to analysis again if you check this uh, the sections will be actually uh, reduced from this every section to a light section all right so after i get them selected successfully like this you go straight away to the design tab select right there go to the static design still click right there to run the analysis again and as well as design the, so this is what i was saying you can see the section now it's now smaller but that's as a result of the uh that as a result of this uh roof braces uh, becoming fair okay but that is not an issue okay we proceed we want to select these two braces and then run analysis again and see how they will pass analysis successfully so select go back to the review again and then pick on the auto check select right there then for the root braces select all because they were, we are failing hold the control key so you can be able to select all of that successfully just like this All right, so once you get that selected successfully, you will proceed to the analysis tab and then click on the statistic, click right there. Then the progress on seconds to run analysis. And let's see how that works. All right, so you can see all the bridges as pass analysis, okay? You can see the bridges uh, diameter are not the same, the rod diameter are not the same. So if you want to change that, you can just select the rod. Once you select the rod, you can come to the property tab you scroll down you can see here you have section click right there and you can see uh, two sections there 114.3 and 88.9 select the 88.9 you can see this has been adjusted successfully so if you now escape now you notice that uh, you will have uh, if you escape you notice that uh, you will have uh, something like this all right so uh if you Go back to the analysis again click on the static analysis after making any changes you need to do analysis again all right everything has passed but this has been showing someone is here you can see this uh, particular member and see this some other ones are showing a warning which i think is not an issue also you can change the section okay so select uh that one all right all the control key select the all the members that are showing warning or control key and select all so you can change the section successfully all right so i will select it come to the property dialog and then you need to scroll down expand this all right 
and then you scroll down to check for the section you can see the section is a uh, 80 by 80 so you just select right there and you can be able to choose another new sections click right there all right so in the dialog instead of uh, using 80 you can go by 90 by 90 by 3 okay select that just like that okay after you have that selected uh, you can now uh, do analysis again for they need to click to save the project right after which go straight away to the design tab click on design state static to do the analysis again right you check that again it's still showing the same warning right confirm the still this right this particular one has passed it's only this other one that is showing the uh the warning okay all right so what you need to do now is uh you still go back to the review and you click on the auto check design then select this one hold the control key select that one the ones that are failing rotate this and then you'll be able to select all of this one too just like that then go back to the analysis tab and click on the design still all right they are still having a little issues of warning but the element has passed analysis successfully it shows that uh, this is just a kind of warning you can see from the key there eight members under warning okay i think the warning should be as a result of uh, the roof raises this one so if i want to check that now i can decide to select all the roof brace just like that let's check something okay so let's including this one and this other one so after you have that selected you can delete that using this plus click on ok all right so you don't have any roof braces again what you need to do is to save the project and then go to the analysis tab design still again all right so once you design still you can see that uh, there are still some one in two you can select this right click and then be able to design member statics to actually check which member is supposed to pass the design you can see that it is 50 by 50 by 4.4 just have to uh, actually close that okay and then click right there click right there and change the section from that to this one all right and then do analysis again all right so we are still having some warning on the structure we are still having some warning let's check this member this is our uh, select that right there scroll down it's 80 by 80 escape check this one this is also section 80 by 80 change it to 90 escape check this one also change it to 90 all right after which click on the design still you notice that this one has passed but this one is still uh, having a warning okay so if i should check that again it's still 90 by 90 so now what we need to do is let's go straight away uh and fix the the braces at the roof Click on the model tab and select the X brace. 
I'll pick this first point, pick the second point, pick the third point and the first point to place that. Do the same thing here. And do the same thing. Yeah, finally we fix it here too. Alright, after having it fixed successfully, you can't save the project. Having the project save, you go to the design tab and design still. You will notice the rate of failure as uh, the rate of warning has also have actually reduced. Okay. And the rods has actually passed successfully. Okay. Alright, so you can still work on this warning by increasing the sections just as I was doing. By so doing you get all these members passed. Having the green color, which shows that they have passed, but some are still having this color that shows that. They have actually passed, but there is a warning on that. Okay, so I want to do show you how to play some reports. You go to the report tab. And you can click right there. Like the material listing, you can click right there to create that. Click on show reports, just that place. And you have the material list here. You can also click to take them to Excel. Click right there. That will launch Excel automatically. So as you can see, this is the material list being exported to Excel successfully. This is the total weight of the structure. It's 5586.45. Okay, this can be reduced. If you work on the section, so you can see all the sections there. And the still grade, all the information are right there. Okay. Minimize that. And then go back to your structure. Okay, so if you check uh, on these uh, members, to actually confirm the selected sections, you will know that it is 152. What we used originally was a 254 by 254. Now it has reduced it to 152. Okay, meaning these walls now can withstand the can withstand the structure and the load apply on the structure successfully. Okay, but there is a provision to reduce that. You can also uh, make some re reductions effectively so as to reduce the weight of the structure so this, this is how to carry out uh, loading analysis and as well as design of a simple steel structure in a tecla structure we have to stay tuned because we might be exporting this to tecla structure uh, tecla structure is safe this is a tecla structural designer for the connections i exported to tecla structure is safe to carry out your connection successfully and produce a drawing Although this may produce this this program can be able to produce the drawing from these provisions, you click right there, and then you click on the drawing management. You can be able to produce a uh, general arrangement drawing. Yeah, you had it there, okay, but not generated yet. But for you to produce a drawing with uh, for you to produce a drawing with uh, connections, we we are the device to use the the Tecla structure itself, okay. So I bring the lesson to a stop here yeah, as we will continue. The next lesson, stay tuned, like the lesson, and bye for now.